Okay, now let's talk about camera crane. This is camera crane. You can you can see it in this image. This is camera crane that it's used lots of in movies. This is a camera crane. It's very interesting. The first. As you can see, it's just a simple camera with all the settings that I explained it before. And it's a tag called camera crane, or you can click it to directly <coughs> go into the tag. The best, the best, uh, the first thing that you face here is a link. What does it mean? It means if you, you can um, align a camera to the rail. It's very really simple. You can add a camera to the, this rail. As you can see, this is our rail. The camera can uh, move through that. Oh, it's very big, I think. Yeah, this is small line is enough. As you can see, it's uh, stable in a ground. But if you go into the disk tag and link this spline, as a link, as you can see, it snapped to the spline and with the wheels. Interesting. You can go to the spline and make it subdivided to better quality of that. You can go to the camera and link, as you can see, it's the... Uh, you can make it a bit spline if you want. Oh, nope. Uh, this is a setting of the spline and as you can see, we have a position. Now you can move around that with the camera crane, with all the settings. It has interesting setting that you can move all of this you can move from this <clears throat> angle from this arm from this arm from those two arms that you have full control to moving your camera <clears throat> and you can animate it again tangential is for example if you go here i have to add a oh, polygon pen sorry Uh, I want holding control to click and then go into the position, make it in this direction <clears throat> because of the tangential. If you move your camera crane, and as you can see, it's moving along the curve, but if it's turned off, it's just going straight. Nice. It's all about the tangential. Control Z, nice. And the rail. The rail is for controlling the rotation. <clears throat> we can control and make the rail. Make it a rail. Select it and click and drag the rail here. And you have to select it and move up. And as you can see, it control the rotation of your main body or camera. You can control it with a rail. Nice. And <clears throat> this is all the changes position already. And the heading, and as you can see, you can rotate based on this part. As you can see. Your camera is rotating based on this part, based this axis. Nice. But as you can see, but as you can see, uh, if you make it, I want to explain concept, uh, compens, uh, compensate heading. If you activate it, it looks uh, in one direction that you can control with the target. Yeah, you can control the target and then select it. As you can see, uh, the camera is looking at the same direction, but you can pitch it. If you turn the compensate heading off, it's rotating, the camera rotating with its arm. Nice. Length, you can change the heights of the camera like this. This is an arm. This arm, you can control the this arm you can control the pitch of course it's all about the constant uh, con compensate pitch i don't know why i can 
as you can see it look at the one direction and you can turn it all off or on if you want but for this you need a target for example if you want you can control the rotation with a target you can select your target here and as you can see it's of null and you can simply control that with null interesting if you want make your null something that we can simply see that yeah so null <clears throat> Another setting is for head. Let's look at this. As you can see, you can change this arm. You can change the rotation of the camera based on this axis here. <clears throat> Imagine how powerful this crane is. You can change the width. You can control that with a target. Control this rotation of its target. Nice. You can go rotate anywhere that you want. And it's in the camera, and we can go directly move the camera, and nice, the offset from your base. Okay, this is all about camera crane. You can animate it on a spline rotation, and move it along all of one, two, three, four, five axes, and you can control it with a target and as you can see the uh, if you want to uh, change a camera crane don't forget to uh, bring spline or rail or null any target below the this null object it's grouped and you can select them and move them at once all of the group okay this is all about camera crane hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release